In this video, I want to go over a question which will end up as a quadratic uh, number pattern or quadratic formula. So let's read this question. Stu has been studying studying lizards. He makes a math stick pattern based on the lizard's backbone. Okay, so this is say pattern number one. Okay, this is pattern number two. This is pattern number three. This is pattern number four. So whenever you have a pattern, uh, there is a relationship between the math stick and the pattern number. So we'll read the question later on. So let's say the pattern number is P. Say P for pattern number and M for math sticks. Okay. So pattern number one. So let's we've got one, two, three, four, four patterns. So how many math stick do we have? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then you've got six, and then you add seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, so pattern number two, and then to add five. So eleven plus five is uh, this is adding five. So one, two, three, four, five. Eleven plus five is seventeen. I mean, so 11 plus 5 is 16, and 16 plus 5 is 21. Okay, the question is on not, so let's write the formula between P and M. So, well, this is going up in fives. So this is the rate of change is 5 over 1, which is 5. So the gradient is 5, and this is a linear pattern. So this is plus 1 and plus 1. So we can say M m is phi times p and if you go backwards if you take away phi plus one so the number of math stick can be found by this formula so i should have written this somewhere else so let me delete this i don't want this here so let me write it here so m is the pattern number sorry the number of math stick is phi times p plus one so does it work? So let's check this. Suppose if it's the fourth pattern, if say P is four, if P is four, M, we are saying is five times P, which is four plus one. And that is 21. Okay, so that's right. Now the question is not on this. The question is on the total number of math stick. So if Stu wishes to make a, a sequence of lizards, backbone design, a sequence of three, suppose if he goes up to sequence number three or pattern number three, he has to have design one, design two, and design three. Find the rule that links the number of design, that is P, in the sequence with the number of match sticks, the total number of match sticks needed for, for her to make all the designs. So let's write, make up a two, new new table. Say T for T for total number of math sticks. So if he makes one sequence from one pattern, she would need one sequence. Sorry, six math stick. For the next, if she wants to go up to the second one, she has to go up to six plus eleven. Okay. For the third, she has to go to six plus eleven plus 16. And if she wants to go up to the fourth, it'll be six plus 11 plus 16 plus 21. Okay, let me go backwards. So we know the rules. If we go, if we keep going to say P, if we go to the P, to the P sequence, it will be M will become, we already wrote is 5P plus 1. 5p plus 1. So using the same form, same pattern, this would be 6 plus 11 plus dot 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 plus, I'll leave a gap here, plus the the total, the last of when you reach the pattern number p, you have 5p plus 1. 5p plus 1. So if you take away, so if you're going this way, 
you're adding 5. Okay, so let me add one more. So 11 plus 5 is 16. So if you go this way, you're adding 5. So if you want to go backwards, you have to take away 5. So that would be 5p plus 1 take away 5. It would be 5p take away 4. 5p take away 4. So now let's write the formula. So we can say t, t, p. Let's write t, p like this. That is the total up to the pth sequence would be 6 plus 11. I'll leave some gap here. Plus 16 plus dot, dot, dot. Okay. Uh, plus 5p. So if you go again, uh, 5 to the left, you have to write 5p take away 9. So let me scroll to this side. So 5p take away 9. So that means I'm going 5 to the left here. So 5p take away 4, take away 5 is 5p take away 9. Plus 5p take away 4 plus 5p plus 1. So this is the total up to the p sequence. So again, if you write TP in the reverse order, it will be 5P plus 1 plus 5P, 5P minus 4 plus 5P minus 9. You have to be a bit more patient here. Dot, 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 plus going backwards, it will be 16 plus 11 plus 6. So let me draw a dividing line so that you can see what I what I'm. So this is what I want you to look. Look at these. Okay. So if you look at these, this is a pattern here. So yeah. So let's add this. So if we add this, what will happen? So here we are adding this this row with this row. So TP plus TP is two times TP. Okay, would be if you add 6 plus 5p plus 1, would be 5p plus 7. Again, this is 11 plus 5p take away 4, would be, so let me put this in the bracket, plus 5p plus 7. And again, you will have 5p plus 7. 16 plus 5p minus 9 is 5p plus 7. You will have it for how many times? Well, we can say we are going to have it for n times. Okay, or we can we are going to have it for p times. We could have written n, so we're going to have it for p times. Because you're going from 1 to p, so this we are going to have for p times. Okay, so we're almost there, so we can say 2 times tp is p times 5p plus 7. Okay, and now we can divide both sides by 2. So the formula for the total number of a math stick would be tp is equal to p divided by 2 times 5p plus 7. Okay, and if you can expand this out, or this this is same as writing 0.5p times 5p plus 7. So let me show this on a calculator. So before I show this on a calculator, so this is this is 6. 6 plus 11 is 17. So if you go up to the second one, it is 17 plus 16, which is 33. Then 33 plus 21, which is... 40, 54, sorry, not 44, it is 54. So I'll show this on a calculator. So if this formula is right, we should have these numbers. So let me write the formula here so that it begins. So TP we wrote is 0.5 times P times 5P plus 7. So if you have a graphic calculator, so this is my graphic calculator. I'll go to table menu and type in the formula, which is 0.5x 
bracket 5x plus 7. Close the bracket. I will set my table from 1 to 1 to 4. So let's see. We can go from 1 to 4 and see the formula. Can you see the first is 6, the second is 17, the next is 33, and the fourth is 54. So basically this is a quadratic. Uh, if you expand this out, those who know how to write quadratic, so this is basically 0.5p times phi is 2.5p squared plus 0.5p times 3 would be 3.5p. So this is a quadratic formula because this is increasing in a quadratic manner. 